got more information coming out of the West Coast, more specifically out of that Montana deal with the Pagans. The cops are saying he is the leader of the chapter. He's saying there isn't a chapter of the Pagans out there. Who knows, man? Who knows? I guess the only ones that know are the parties involved. I'm just reporting on it for you that way to help get you through some BS. We're going to go to that one. But first, I have a question to ask. And maybe I'm playing a little devil's advocate here. Maybe I'm confused because I get confused easy. But here's my question. And God knows... I'm not defending them, okay? Let's just put out that now I am not defending them. I don't back them. Because, you know, some people want to hear my words and be dorks and think I'm actually supporting them, which I'm not. But if Iron Order is so bad, then why are we hearing that a major club is flipping their chapters or flipping their guys if they're so bad this has got me stumped and of course you're gonna come on and get all kinds of supporters saying well you know you don't know this you don't know that oh come on we hear from reliable sources <laughs> some of them that actually flipped so again it confuses me Will somebody help me out with this? All I hear is this club stinks and we can't associate with them. And then you have a big club flipping them. Now, what kind of sense does that make? Is that hypocritical or not? Would somebody help me out? And then I hear about the selling of the patches. You got a big club out there selling patches. What the hell is that? I thought we're supposed to listen to all these protocol things. It is ass backwards now. I'm sorry to say it's ass backwards. Because these people tell us we got to do this. And in return, they're doing this. It totally goes against everything. And I don't understand why... You'd want to sell your patch. Especially if you're an older club. You had brothers die for that thing. You had brothers go to prison for that thing. It don't make no damn sense to me. So in the comments section, if you would, could you please tell me what the hell I'm missing here? Can you please answer the question if... Iron order is so bad, then why you got big clubs flipping them? Help me out here, man. I know I'm slow, but damn, I didn't think I was that slow. Anyway, let's go to the Daily Inner Lake. Uh, this is from the 12th of uh, March. Pagan's motorcycle club, uh, or no, Pagan's member. My fault, correction there. Denies leadership role in Outlaw Motorcycle Club. This one's by Derek Perkins. And there's a picture of old boy right there sitting there not happy. The man authorities have identified as the president of a local chapter of the Pagans Motorcycle Club. Pushed back on that description Friday from inside the county jail. Michael Allen Murphy, 49, who faces a felony count of issuing a bad check in Flathead County District Court, said the Pagans boast too few members in the area to warrant a chapter. Why would you be out there trying to pass bad checks? There is just too much technology out there. That's an old school scam. Now everybody uses them debit cards and stuff like that. So why would you even try? You know you're going to get caught. I'm just saying, man. Just trying to give a viewpoint here. Quote, and this had to do with that Montana thing. To have a chapter in Kelly's spell, you have to have a certain amount of guys, Murphy said. 
There is no chapter there. There's only two guys that even associate with them. It's more writing and stuff like that. Oh, come on. Naughty, naughty, naughty. What are you talking about? I didn't just see two guys at that thing and everybody's getting pissed at me. But I'm trying to be honest here. Trying to be honest. It's great that you're trying to push back and stuff, but push back with something you can believe. Just saying, man. Uh, if there's a certain... I, I get it. There is supposed to be a certain amount of guys that opens up in a chapter, but I don't know anymore, man. You, you, everything's just back shit crazy now and things that you never thought would be done are being done now so you don't know who the hell to believe i'm just saying man uh officials identified murphy as the club's chapter president while announcing his february 28th arrest in a press release issued march 3rd probation and parole officers why would you pass a bad check while you're on parole that is like, what the hell are you doing? They got the evidence. Why would you do that? Asking for a friend's brother's cousin's mother's father's, you know, half sister. I don't know. Anyway, in conjunction with the Flathead County Sheriff's Office, the police department, they took him into custody. Let's see here. Uh, Sheriff Brian Hino said Friday that authorities determined Murphy's alleged leadership status while investigating the 49-year-old. They already knew he was in the organizations from images of him sporting the motorcycle club's badge. During the investigations, individuals identified during witness testimony that he was the president. Oh, individuals identified him in witness testimony. <sighs> While disputing the title, Murphy in a phone call with Interlake acknowledged his membership in the club while he described this far less violent or criminal than reflected in popular culture. Hey, you know what? He's trying. He's trying. A lot of things you hear about the pagans is from the old days. There are bad apples in every group. Hey, man, you've been watching me. Have you been watching my show? You hear me say that all the time. That's like a direct quote from Hollywood. Hey, give me some credit here. You're going to use my stuff. <laughs> then it goes in the, uh, the U.S. attorney deems the group an outlaw motorcycle gang. A man described as the national leader of the club in Raleigh, uh, North Carolina, earned a... Well, holy cow, man, what are you talking about here? 900-month prison sentence in early February. At, oh, yeah, I remember that one out of uh, North Carolina. He ain't getting out. He ain't getting out, I can tell you that. Uh, let's see here. Now... It says he got involved in a motorcycle club looking for a way to bond with other men. Bond with other men. I wouldn't, you know what, I wouldn't have said it that way. Kind of a little freakish, if you ask me. Bonding with another man. Uh, you know, maybe I think differently. Often with checkered past trying to help each other move forward. And uh, he goes on to say, we're portrayed like we're badasses and all that. Uh, he's tried. He's trying. He's trying, I guess. <laughs> He tried to pass $31,148 between October 13th and the 19th that were returned for non-sufficient funds. And the checks were written from his business account. Wow. I guess things change. I, 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 from your business account? Really? You know you had no monies. But you write the check anyway. You know you're going to get busted because you won't be able to cover them monies. 
I know a lot of people play Russian roulette, at least they used to in the old days, where they'd write a check and hope to get the money in there before it cashes. But how the hell you write a check from your business account for $31,148? Even if you're a corporation, you can't do that. Because you're passing a bad check. It's not like your Wally World or any of that stuff. Where you can place blame on the others. It just don't, it don't make no sense. And because he comes out and says they're really trying to nail me to the stake right now. They're trying to make me, take me down because of the fight. Why'd you pass the bad checks then? And like I say, everybody's innocent until proven guilty by a court of law, supposedly in this country. But why would you write that much in checks and then try to say, hey, they're trying to take me down because of a fight? Come on. Really? That's all I'm saying, man. Played a good devil's advocate today, didn't I? Had some fun with this one. But hey, you don't answer. You know what? If you can answer my questions because I'm confused about all this uh, stuff that's being heard on the street. And I thought that I'd bring it to you guys and gals' attention. So maybe you some give me some advice on how I should cover it. Who knows? I don't know, man. But uh, the second half of the show with China Dow, we're not going to be having. Uh, she has to work. But uh, we'll be back on Tuesday with that one. Rock out. This Motorcycle Madhouse on Spotify and iTunes Radio. Join the Insane Throttles Members Only Club. Two ways to join over on Spotify and YouTube. Insane Throttle Biker News' channel, by the way. With your membership, you get exclusive content Monday through Friday. China Dow's on there with me. Y'all love China Dow. Also, you get an in invite to the yearly rumble in the woods where we get together have parties have fun so make sure you join the insane throttles members only club over on spotify or youtube rock on